So this is a tutorial on how to import a CSV that's comma separated value file into Excel. Right now I'm on Yahoo Finance, going to historical prices, and as you can tell there's just gobs of data here. I'm going to go to download spreadsheet, and it, Yahoo Finance is pretty good because it uh, automatically gives it to you in a CSV file. Um, those are very easy to work with, so just save file, um, save it as whatever you want. And now I just have a new a new tab or a new uh, sheet here. I'm going to data get external data from text, and this is the way I recommend getting the uh, importing the external data, and that's because it will um, automatically update the sheet once if you change the historical value. So if I went back tomorrow and um, re-downloaded this after the prices had changed, uh, it would then save it as the same name. I would be able to almost um, just redo what I did. It's like kind of a macro. Um, so go to data, external data from text, CSV, you also have the choice between PRN, text, and CSV. Um, text is the you know, next most commonly used, PRN is pretty seldom used. So I'm going to import, and it brings up the text import wizard. We're going to delimited, and um, in CSV that's separated by commas, you can remember C, comma, CSV, and tabs, text, txt. Um, it's separated by tabs in the text file. So we're going to delimited. So if we were using a text file, we'd use tab, but right now we're using comma. Um, and you could choose, you know, whatever you want here. Right now, if we were to look um, at all of the periods, this would, we never want to sort it this way because it's meaningless, but it's just showing you that if I put a period here, it'll sort by the, by the period. So you can do multiple these multiple times, so I could do commas and periods, um, but let's just uh, look at this. You have date, open, high, and low, and they're separated by columns, and the, the um, basically the row below that is also separated by columns in the same place. So you just click comma, and you see it automatically um, cuts the data apart for you. So you press next. Um, general, you can you know format the first column however you want. Finish, it asks you where to put it, and just say okay. And remember this other trick, just a quick one that I, it's hard to explain um, without using a video. You hold down Control and Shift, and you press the down arrow and the right arrow, and it just selected all of that data. And if you look, we're in row 20,000. So it did that much quicker than you could scrolling. And what I'm just going to do now is auto format the columns width. So I go Alt H O. I and see that it automatically did it. Um, and I press escape. Oh, or sorry, I have to press the down arrow. And then uh, you remember, Control Home brings you back to the A1 cell. So I think that uh, is the CSV tutorial, and we'll also look at text files in a second.